Hello, shareholders. On behalf of the Kremenka family, it is my honor to welcome you to DefenseCon 2082. Today, we'll be sharing with you the next generation in peacekeeping technologies, innovations designed not just to save lives, but to redefine how security is delivered all around the world. But before we explore our whole lineup, I'd like to begin with something truly extraordinary. Introducing the all new, completely reimagined UH-90 IBIS a multi-purpose helicopter gunship designed for a myriad of mission profiles. Coaxial rotors and powerful ducted thruster fans push the IBIS to unparalleled speeds for its weight class. We released the Tarantula last year to a lot of positive reviews from our larger clients for all of its bells and whistles. But some of our smaller, more clandestine business partners quietly explained to us that it simply would not fit within their business model because of its prohibitive price. So this time we made sure that wasn't the case. We optimized our supply chain to purchase only from suppliers offering competitive prices. Then we had some interns saying they felt bored, so we set all of them to work producing a cheaper alternative to the Tarantula, cutting away most of our R&D costs. What they delivered was the UH-90 IBIS, designed to fit a similar role of the Tarantula at a fraction of the cost. The IBIS supports a range of modular armament packages. These include door-mounted automatic grenade launchers, auto cannons, electronic countermeasures, and our new bullseye revolving missile system. Each IBIS can transport a full infantry squad directly into the fight. Once landed, these troops remain tied to the aircraft, allowing for fast, coordinated capture of enemy airbases or other high-value installations. While the IBIS can technically transport a full squad, let's say that you're a bit of a bleeding heart and you feel a little bad for the conscripts in the back of the bus. Well, get this. You can swap out infantry for our brand new unmanned ground vehicles. The Hexhounds, as we call them, deploy straight from the cargo bay. You can even parachute them in if you want. They come in two flavors, grenade launcher or anti-aircraft missile launcher. If there are unfriendly things on the ground or in the air, the Hexhounds can break them without risking any human personnel. Occasionally, fixing things is more productive than blowing things up. We've also developed the Jackknife Autonomous Repair Vehicle, designed exclusively for repairing buildings after they've been critically damaged, like aircraft shelters or helipads. Without the need for a human pilot, the Jackknife can function normally deep inside nuclear strike craters or within the exclusion zones of damaged nuclear facilities. For heavier loads, we attach a sling load system to the IBIS and the Tarantula, which lets you pick up certain ground vehicles, like APCs and trucks. You can use the sling load's cable system to rescue downed pilots or stranded infantry. Can you see where I'm going with this? Yes, that's right. That means the IBIS can be marked and shipped as a rescue helicopter, dodging international trade regulations like a vortex dodging a scythe. Which takes us to one more thing, the greatest thing the price. After all the corners that we've been able to cut, we are pricing the IBIS at $29.5 million. Under $30 million with the keys to your federal reserves, it's practically free! Moving on to other things, we worked with some of our business partners to improve the standard airfield layouts. Our last layouts had ordnance just sitting outside, so during this renovation we built some new ammo bunkers to store nukes indoors away from the weather. We wouldn't want the warheads getting soaked, would we? We've also deployed two unique CRAM trailers to defend runways from enemy air and artillery strikes. One sports our signature 20mm autocannon, and another featuring the same solid-state laser weapon as our Medusa. And we thought, why stop there? We added new lighting to our naval vessels, allowing for easier flight ops during nighttime and poor weather conditions. The Tarantula's vehicles and airdrop containers have all received new parachute systems just like the Hexhounds, so you don't actually need to land to deploy your payload anymore. And lastly, we improved the fly-by-wire systems on all of our existing aircraft. Some should feel a bit smoother and more responsive now. The Kremenka Industries family believes that peace is not something you should wish for. It's something that you deliver. And with the UH-90 IBIS, we're delivering it farther, safer, and with more precision than ever before. Thank you for joining us and welcome to the future of peacekeeping. Ready? Yeah. So this time we made sure that wasn't the case. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> it looks so bad. <laughs>
<laughs> it looks so good. It's so okay. funny in a good way. <laughs> Shit. This is gonna be so hard. Oh, fuck. Okay. Alright. This isn't funny at all. There's nothing funny in the slightest about this bullshit. Alright, ready? This is actually uncomfortable as shit, though. <laughs> they come in two flavors. Grenade launcher? 